Welcome to another edition of Avery Dennison Reflective Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to discuss some simple techniques you can use to make the application of reflective tape easier. Your first step is simply removing the liner off the tape itself. So you'll see every roll ships a piece of tape on the outside. I found the easiest way is to use this or any other tape you have sitting around, applying it to the back of the liner, and you can see it peels back really easily. Other option, if you don't want to do that, is to use the pad of your thumb. The pad provides enough texture, enough friction, that you can get into the edge and start it cleanly. Next, we're going to walk through some simple tips you can use during the application process. So, I'm going to go ahead and start my tape. So you can see I'm just using my thumb to start it. And then I'll take my squeegee and start to, to press down. And you'll notice I'm using a squeegee with a felt edge. You can also use a felt sleeve or low friction sleeve just to minimize scratching. One thing you want to avoid is using a raw squeegee or a bare squeegee just because it will scratch or mar the surface which can affect the reflectivity or life of the product. So we're going to continue applying. Now I'll start pulling back the liner and you'll notice I'm pulling back the liner as parallel as I can to the tape itself. And this just helps to prevent any tearing that may happen during the process. And if during the process your tape gets askew somewhat and you want to reposition, you can simply lift it up within a couple minutes of application. And you want to do it at a relatively low angle, you know, 45 degrees or less. So you see I've lifted and now I can readjust and lay it right back down. And this just helps to minimize any scrap or losses in your process due to misalignment or operator error. For more information on our products and videos like these, please visit reflectives.averydenison.com.